Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box as always for all the nice links. Uh, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So there you go, intro out of the way. Uh, I was looking at some stuff in here and I was thinking of what to do. Um, there's a few things we just got to touch on a little bit because we started doing this percentage thingy, right? Uh, for, for the... Um, for the states and all the buttons and stuff we don't have something for for this a little simple algorithm for this would have been fine um, so one thing we can do is I actually thought of a little ag algorithm I'm not sure if it's gonna work but let's see let's make a const and this is gonna calculate kind of depending on the resolution how large our text should be so const unsigned since that since that is the uh, size character size right unsigned um, calc uh, character size I guess and then we'll just say nothing since it will return something depending on the resolution and this is a member variable so const these can actually also be consts like that, just to optimize them a little bit. Now let's go to state.cpp. Let's just add const to all of this. No, right here. Const const. All right. I'll just copy one of these as well, just to so we can comment in for this function right here. Um, calculate character size and let me just do this let me paste that in there and let's go to the file actually right here let's uh, let's put this where it should be I think I think it was down here right it was below these yeah it's below those all right so we'll calculate the character size now it's weird it's in state I, I want this to be in GUI because uh, I don't want to have to send in the state data every time I call this but we could do that we'll figure it out later like I said in the last videos we'll see depends on where you want it uh, if you guys want to put it in in any other place like GUI uh, you go ahead and do it just send in the state data as a parameter in here then but let's change this so calculates the character size for text using um, the current resolution and a constant and then there will be no in parameter so I'm just going to remove the in parameter part all right I'll keep that like this return unsigned the calculated character size value and then we shall calculate it. So the way we're going to return this is I'll say this state data resolution no GFX settings resolution dot width plus all right so this is a weird way to calculate it I don't know I get kind of good results when I use this algorithm you can use any other algorithm you want so what I do is I kind of I kind of add both of these together, okay, like this, and then I static cast this to unsigned, okay, and then I divide the first two parentheses, I hope you can see that, with uh, a constant, so I'm just going to divide it with 60, alright, I don't know if we need the static cast since it's still an integer division, but you divide it with 60, I, I like that, that's a good constant, because 10, 1080 plus 1920 divided by 60 gives me 50, which I already have uh, here. All right. So it feels like it's good way. It's a good way to kind of um, make this uh, text smaller depending on the resolution. So now once we have that function, I'm just going to save that. This looks weird, though. It honestly it does look weird. I don't know. You can have that there if you want. I probably don't want that. Okay, it looks better. 
Uh, anyway, so it just returns me that value. Now, let me see. To use it, basically all you're going to do is this calc character size like that. And it will give us a good character size dependent on, depending on the current resolution. All right, so that's a good way to just make that independent of everything else. So just, just go ahead and do that on all of the buttons here. All right. And if we run this, hopefully it'll look just like it did before. No big deal. No big, uh, big issues here. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I put, I, it shortened down the resolution. I was testing some stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I forgot. But here you go. That's perfect. Now you can see the buttons are correctly placed and everything looks fine. Now this, this place doesn't look that good because obviously it's not correct. So now we got to open that again. Let me just go ahead and go to my project. Sorry about this. Uh, SFML, RPG, configs. Sorry about sounds as well. Always stuff going on around here. Uh, 1920, 1080, save that and then run it. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll see what is going on. So there you go. Now the button looks fine. The character size, everything is fine for the buttons and it looks nice, right? It looks perfect. That's the way it should be. Now, one place we're going to have a problem with this is going to be in the pause menu because yeah because we don't actually have um we might have to send in oh, we do have window size but i don't like using that you know i don't it just doesn't this stuff right here doesn't really doesn't feel right it feels weird using this i should send in state data instead because then we're kind of using the same data everywhere we're not we're not using different types of stuff right so we should probably send in say data in here but anyway for now we'll keep working on that in the next one probably but for now we'll just switch up the setting state and make sure that uh, make sure that when we initialize the buttons here that we're using the correct value so I'm just gonna use that function this calculate character size just like that all right, and then I'm going to change these. So calculator, bring out that trusty calculator, say 1500 divided by 1920. That gives me 78.1, about 78.1%. Uh, so I'm gonna say this P to PX, 72.1%. So I'm just gonna do that. Mm. We could just give it an even 72.1 or 72. That's fine. Uh, again, I close it because I'm dumb. All right, go ahead. 880, but now divide it with um, 1080. Don't do the mistake I did last video. So 81.5, just by 81.5. Uh, this P2PY, 81.5. F like that good calculations right there we'll just copy this and put it down here no not that one this one and then we'll calculate the other one uh, 1300 divided by 1920 that gives me 68 percent just about 68 percent it's a little more to the left so just a clean even 68 let's just use that boom looks fine these two values we already calculated before in game state. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy those two values. No, in main menu state, sorry. We have these values here, remember? So let's just copy everything here. And let us put that into the setting state for the size of the button. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Just paste them in there and do a little new line. And then that should, that should look good. That should look great. And then calculate character size so now basically those two buttons are nice and and set no big deal all looking great uh, resolution the drop down box as well we need to put what is this okay so we have x y width height x y and width and height so we got to put this in the correct position now what is what is that sorry for the tedious stuff here 800 by 1920 
let's go 42%. So let's just say 42% and then 450. What does that give me? 450, 450. No, 450. God damn it. Uh, 450 divided by 1080. That gives me 42%. No, wait, what? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, that's that's cool. All right, I guess that's cool. All right, 200. Let's see now. 200 divided by 1920. 10.4. 10.4. 10.4. Uh, and then let's just remove the 50 here let's do this new gui drop down list all right something like that all right so now we can see what the hell's going on like that okay um what was here i think it's at 20 or 50 50 divided by 1080 something like that four four point five 4.5 f something like that let's see what it gives us uh, let's go ahead and run this and the final thing we're going to do we're just going to go into setting state and we're going to make sure this actually works all right so the drop down box works everything applying back is kind of strange though doesn't really work i think it's this button so wait i, th I must have messed that up somehow I think I'm going to put it at maybe 30. I think that's what I did wrong. Wait, 32%? No, that wasn't it. No, this is it. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Let's just get that back to whatever it was because that was just fine. This was the problem. So back and apply. So let's just put it at 60% or 55%. Let's see if that helps. 13, 6.f, okay. Settings, all right, that looks that looks a little better. That looks a little better. Uh, we can just put it at an even 60, like that. And yyxx, just make sure you're using the right functions. All right, there you go. Now this should be working. And if you change your resolution, obviously not gonna work because we're not updating the, the GUI again, but that's something we're gonna have to fix in the next video. Let's just see that it's working by changing this again to 640 to um, 480. Just a nice small little resolution. Let's run this. Final thing, promise. Settings, apply and back are working. This resolution thing is working as well. Obviously, these, this text thing isn't working, but but that's no problem. At least our GUI is, is working here. So if I just set this to 920 and apply it, obviously, this isn't going to work. It's not updating. So we're probably going to have to fix that new game. The reason this worked, all right, the reason this worked is because when you go back, it deletes that state, but main menu is never deleted until you quit the game entirely. That's why we need to update. We need to make a state, some type of state function, which updates GUI as well, not just initializes it. So there you go. That's what we're going to have to do. But uh, yeah, for now, that's fine. Thank you so much for watching. We'll keep working on this in the next one and thanks for all your patience all right stay patient i promise it will be worth it you'll be learning how to work with all these percentages and shit and use them in your own projects later on uh, and yeah there you go thank you so much for the support take care i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye